Russian forces with improved tactics and superior firepower have been seizing territory in the Donetsk region in recent months, with a speed and aggression not seen since the full-scale invasion in 2022, the Washington Post writes. As the publication writes last year, the battle was dominated by artillery duels and so-called meat attacks by large groups of poorly trained Russian conscripts. But now Ukrainian fighters report that enemy assault units are often well-trained and well-equipped and move in smaller groups. On some parts of the front, Russian troops stormed defenses in groups of 10 to 20 soldiers a few months ago, but now use teams of just four. This practice helps Russian troops avoid surveillance and their dispersal makes them difficult to target with drones and artillery. The Ukrainians also used the tactics last fall. But now, soldiers say the key difference is that Russia has combined the concept with advantages in ammunition and tolerance for casualties. New communications equipment has also helped Russian commanders better organize attacks, soldiers say, and has increased the effectiveness of drone strikes. Yet, while enemy casualties are staggering, Ukrainian soldiers say the Russians have enough numbers to keep up the pressure. They don't spare people. The last place we worked, there's a crossroads, completely covered in bodies, and they keep coming because they have orders, say one of the fighters, Junior Lieutenant Vitali. There are already a lot of them. Everything is black with corpses. In the southern part of Donetsk Oblast, the Russians seized about 318 square miles in August and September, about 268 of which were captured along the front between Bakhmut and Ugladar, Blackbird Group analyst Parsi Paroinen noted. The biggest territorial losses occurred from mid-August and mid-September, Paroinen said, coinciding with the Ukrainian invasion of Russia's Kursk Oblast. Yet, as Rob Lee, a senior fellow at the Foreign Policy Research Institute, notes, the most important aspect of the struggle on this section of the Donetsk front may be the loss of troops rather than territory. Both Moscow and Kiev have suffered heavy losses and the winner may be the side that can hold out longer. A drone battle in the air no longer surprises, but Ukrainian UAV operators demonstrate a high level of skill in combating enemy drones. According to Defense Express media outlet, drone operators of the reconnaissance platoon of the 130th Territorial Defense Battalion released a video showcasing a truly unique case where an enemy reconnaissance drone, a Mavic type, was shot down using a dropped munition from a UAV. In the spectacular footage, it is clearly seen how the Russian drone was completely destroyed by an incredibly precise strike while the Ukrainian drone continued its mission or returned to the operator. It is worth noting that shooting down a drone using a drop requires a high level of drone operator skill as well as luck, especially in timing, the moment when the enemy UAV is hovering in the air. Another important factor is that the enemy drone must remain stationary at the time of impact, as hitting a moving target with dropped munitions is likely an impossible task. Drone operators report that this is the first confirmed case of shooting down an enemy drone using dropped munitions. In general, both Ukrainian military and the enemy are testing different methods to destroy enemy eyes in the air. Previously, videos occasionally surfaced showing one drone taking down another using the simple method of jamming. The Russians decided to test their first anti-aircraft FPV drones in this manner. The enemy collided with a Ukrainian Furia UAS, but they failed to shoot it down. The UAV successfully stabilized and returned, sustaining only minor damage. At the same time, it is worth mentioning that Ukrainian military continuously approves FPV drones and recently the Wild Hornets workshop managed to accelerate a drone to 325 kilometers an hour, which not only enhances its effectiveness against UAVs, but also provides more opportunities to target enemy helicopters, Defense Express says. Recently, Ukraine has eliminated Russian soldiers on jet skis along the Dnipro River in a drone strike. Drones are one of the defining features of the more than two and a half years of fighting amid the Russia-Ukraine war. 
Hundreds of airborne drones zip across the skies above the front lines each day, ticking off tasks ranging from reconnaissance to targeting as well as kamikaze strikes designed to take out enemy armored vehicles, personnel and positions. Among the most famous are cheap first-person view drones, well known by now for zooming over the battlefield and capturing footage routinely shared online by both Russian and Ukrainian sources. Often the video feed will cut off sharply as the drone careens towards its target and explodes. According to a post on X from United24 Media, a video shows Ukraine's Operational Command South eliminating Russian fighters riding a jet ski on the Dnipro River using FPV drones. Ukrainian FPV drone operators have eliminated Russian soldiers on jet skis on the Dnipro River. United24 Media wrote on X alongside a video showing the drone strike.